Five simple ways to discover who you are. Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician, physicist, and writer said, one must know oneself. If this does not serve to discover the truth, it at least serves as a rule of life and there is nothing better. We are all in a quest to find happiness for the rest of our lives. Although we mostly assume that to become happy, we need to make more and make a lot of it. True happiness lies in discovering who we truly are and how we intend to spend the rest of our lives living freely, doing what makes us happy and yes, making a lot of money alongside. But hey, it is first about living freely before making money. See that? According to Buddha, your work is to discover your world and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. S.I. Hayakawa, a Canadian-born American academic and politician of Japanese ancestry, said and I quote, It is the individual who knows how little they know about themselves who stands the most reasonable chance of finding out something about themselves before they die. In this video, I'll share with you five simple ways to discover who you are. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Take time to be alone. Chalmers Brothers, an author and certified personal executive coach, said observing yourself is the necessary starting point for any real change. The first step to discovering oneself is to consciously take a break to be alone and enjoy some quiet and silence. You see, the reason why most people haven't discovered themselves is because silence scares them and makes them uncomfortable. The truth is that to discover yourself, you need to be alone to evaluate yourself and be completely truthful with yourself so that you can discover what you like and what you dislike, the good and the bad as well as your strengths and weaknesses. Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst, said your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside dreams, who looks inside awakes. When you take out time to find out more about yourself, you'll discover who you truly are, not who you want to be or what other people think you should do and become. Ask yourself questions like, what is the one thing you want to experience or accomplish before you die? If you had all the money in the world, how would you spend your time? What would your perfect day look like? Describe every detail. What activities set your soul on fire? Being able to answer questions like this will give you an insight into who you are and what you like. Here's an extra tip when taking time alone. Get a pen and a journal. You'll be noting down a lot of things. 2. Find out what you are good at. Many times we spend time trying to find the perfect career, the perfect job, or the perfect business, ignoring the one important thing, finding out what we are good at. To find out what you are good at, think about the things that you do with so much ease because they come so natural to you. The truth is that this might be the most difficult step. It requires trials and error to find what you are good at. And hey, don't get tempted to quit before you've had more than enough attempts. So, how do you know what you're good at and what you aren't? See, when your actions do nothing but drain you, rather than produce more passion and increase your drive to do more, it is a good sign that it isn't something you love to do. And if you don't love it, you'll never be able to be good at it. Quincy Jones said, the people who make it to the top, whether they are musicians or great chefs or corporate honchos, are addicted to their calling. They are the ones who would be doing whatever it is they love, even if they weren't being paid. It might take longer than necessary, but finding out what you are good at will motivate you to put in your best to attain mastery in that field. And when you do, it will be one of the best choices you ever made. Maya Angelou, an American poet and civil rights activist said, you can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off you. To find out what you are good at, you can ask yourself questions like this. What are the things you would do even if you didn't get paid for it? 
What do other people say you're good at? Or that you should do professionally or do more of? 3. Incorporate mindfulness exercise into your life. Most times, in trying to discover ourselves, we get carried away analyzing the past and worrying about things that we no longer have control over. We become plagued with regrets about the past and worries about the future. To overcome these thoughts, you need to practice mindfulness as often as possible. For instance, meditating often or doing certain exercises, such as yoga, can help you focus more on the present and stay in the moment. With this, you can easily look back at your personal history and merge it with your present passion and discovery about yourself. 4. Pay attention to opportunities around you. Pay attention to some of the things that pique your interest, such as jobs, internships, trainings, or even organizations. This will give you a clue or two about the things you like and the things you don't. If you can, go ahead and give it a try. You may never know where it will lead. 5. Ask trusted friends, family, and professional coaches for perspective. Sometimes, people will see things that you don't and can help guide you to find something hidden inside yourself. Also, you need to realize that you are not alone in your existential crisis. Finding purpose is a common endeavor to all humanity. Talking to a few people may help because they might have some useful tips or experiences that they can share with you. Conclusion Finding yourself takes time. However, when you do, you'll find more peace and you'll find success quicker than ever before. So, don't be too hard on yourself. Take it one step at a time. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.